In this video, we're going to see how to do hypothesis testing for the difference between means. So our example says, in an experiment to determine whether there is a difference between weights obtained on two different scales in a pediatric clinic, 10 infants were weighed in pounds on two different scales. The following data were obtained. So we see our 10 infants and their weight on each scale. Assume that these weights are normally distributed. Use a 0.01 level of significance. Test the claim that the average weight on these is the same on these two scales. So we're claiming that the weight on the two scales is the same. So I'm going to go ahead and write my hypotheses down before we write everything else, just so we can be very clear with what we're talking about. So we're claiming that the weight on these is the same. So we're saying that there's no difference between their weight. So if we define our difference in this case to be the weight on scale one minus the weight on scale two, if they're the same, that means this difference is going to be equal to zero. So our hypotheses can be that mu is equal to zero, meaning there is no difference um, between their weights. So that's our claim. And we always assume that H naught is true. And so the alternative will be that the mean difference is not equal to zero. And since we have an equal to not equal to case, this is going to be a two tailed test. So I set up my difference to be scale one minus scale two. It does not matter which order you do it in. As long as you do all of the work and show all of the work, you can get full credit regardless of which way you subtract them. So it really doesn't matter. But I need to calculate the difference of scale one minus scale two for each of these. So I'm going to calculate the difference between each one. And then we need to find D bar, which is our average difference, by doing the average function of all of our differences. And then we need to do S sub D by looking at the standard deviation of our differences. So to find D bar, we average our differences. And then to find S sub D, we find the standard deviation of our differences. So we use the average function and then the standard deviation function. Okay, so once we do that, the hard part's over. It now goes back to being more or less a typical hypothesis test. So we find our test statistic T by using the formula, which is D bar minus the assumed value, which is zero, close parenthesis, divided by parenthesis, S sub D over the square root of N. And in this case, N is 10 because we have two, 10 infants. Then to find our p-value, since this is a two-tail test, we have to double our p-value. And since it's a positive t, we can find the area above it to the right. So I'm going to use the t.dist.rt function to find the area to the right of our t-value, comma degrees of freedom, which is n minus 1, which is 9. So our p-value is 0 0.0099. So since our p-value is less than our alpha. Our decision is going to be to reject H naught. And since our claim is in H naught, we're going to be rejecting the claim. So we need to say something to tie up the test, like at alpha equals 0 0.01, there is enough evidence to reject the claim that the weight on the two scales is the same. 